just to start off, you obviously got the game-winning goal, um, but you guys have sort of adopted that never-say-die attitude. Uh, last night's game was almost a repeat up tonight. Just what do you think it is about this team to take deep no matter what? Yeah. Obviously not the starts that we want coming out slow, but um, you know it takes it takes maturity to come out and, and uh, come back from two uh, two two goal deficits. So I think it shows a lot about our growth. What have you seen even in those first periods though, where things maybe haven't gone as as hot as you hoped? Yeah, I mean I think I think we haven't played in two weeks, so that doesn't help. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of sitting around. Um, so I think guys are you know might take them a little bit during the game to get into it, but. Um, no, nah, I mean, I, I think it's just something, obviously, Coach Quinn's going to harp on us in practice and all week to just be be on top of things every day, and, and uh, you know, that will translate over, but um, something that's uh, very fixable. I guess, yeah. I guess for both of you, can you just, like, walk us through what was your mentality going into that final power play? What was, was it just a blur, that final goal? Um, a little bit of a blur, but uh, uh, no, we, uh, we know we have a you know, we've had a good couple of days here for the power play, so uh, that's obviously good for us. You know, it hasn't been our biggest strength right here, but it's going to be important now, you know, in these games to uh, uh, to have a power play that's working and be able to, uh, uh, you know, score goals like this one and last night. So it's uh, that's obviously huge for us. What do you think made you successful after the first period last night at Aston Racing's line? You were matched up with them a lot. Didn't really get as many chances as there. It's used to all season. What do you think you did well? And um, well, first off, you know, it's, it's a really good line, you know, it's, it's one of the better lines in hockey, so it's, it's always a challenge, always a challenge going out there against them, but I think, yeah, uh, you know, if, if you work hard and, you know, you try to stay on them and minimize their space and time all the time, that's, uh, uh, that's going to be, uh, that's going to make it harder for them to, to create offensively, and that's, uh, that's going to be able, or that's going to give us offense instead, so I think just stay on them all the time and uh, work on it. What have you seen from Nick uh, coming on the year line? It was kind of a storyline that's been a little under discussed, I think. Uh, you know, I, I love playing with Burrow. Yeah, he works hard. You know, he can move the puck. He can, you know, shoot the puck like he did today. So uh, it's great to play with him. Coach talked about you being a little snake bit lately. You know, how, how good does it feel to have three points starting? Uh, well, first off, you know, the win, the win's the important part. But you know, obviously, it's always, it's always nice to chip in a little bit offensively. I think, yeah. You know, the team that we have this year, uh, we have a lot of guys that can chip in, but it's always, of course, nice personally to contribute. Shad, what did you see from Northeastern, a team that virtually had its season on the line tonight? Yeah, I think they're a really good team. Um, I think they're, you know, one of, right up there, one of the best teams we've played this year, quite honestly. And um, a very, very good uh, group of forwards, um, a team that's, you know, very good down low, having the puck, good with puck possession. Um, I think they're a very good team, and I think uh, those were definitely not too easy wins for us. You know, you know, maybe you think first round it's not going to be that hard, but those were Northeastern's a very good team. Anything else? Thanks, boys.